Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this video which is a tag video called the RIP Tag, nail polish brands that are no longer with us. This was started by Jess of Jess Face 90 and I'm going to go a little bit fangirl on you now because Jess was one of the channels that I first watched when I started collecting nail polish and I never thought at that point that I'd make videos on YouTube, let alone make one of her tags, so I'm really excited to be doing this. Now as I answer these questions I will insert pictures of me wearing each polish if I have them um, but I don't have time to swatch these all ready for the video so please excuse the varying lengths and styles of nail. The first question was what are the top three brands that you'd bring back if you could? My first choice is a loon by Emily and I won some of these polishes on an Instagram giveaway. Um, they are very very pretty and I instantly went and ordered some others but unfortunately that's when I found out that they were closing down um, and so I picked up a few in the last sale. So as Jess did, I've picked a couple of my favourites from each of these brands and the first one we have here is Talia. And this is a beautiful um, purpley blue with a teal shift in it. You can't really see the teal shift so well um, on camera um, and it is full of sparkling holographic and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Then we have this beautiful green with gold shimmer and holographic in it and this one is called Yasira. So next we have Pretty Perfect Polish. Um, I found out about these polishes from Claire Gray's channel um, and I ordered the mini versions of the neon holographics that they brought out absolutely fell in love with them and when I went back to order some more um, they were no longer available and then they closed down um, Claire was kind enough to give me a full-size version of my favorite of those and this is the blue holographic eternal Before they closed down though, I did manage to purchase this beautiful rose gold holographic um, and this is called Bitch Please. And my third choice would be Princess Nail Lacquer. I actually didn't manage to get any of these polishes before they closed down. I was lucky enough though to be given some in nail mail and I found one in a de-stash. Um, so the first one that I received was this beautiful one called Amy which Claire gave to me. And this one is called Poseidon and this is one that I picked up in a D stash. And the lovely Nika of Nika's Naughty Nails has also sent me three beautiful cream polishes, one of which you will see in the swatch picture that follows. One of the polishes that I was most upset about missing out on from this brand is it's bigger on the inside which was part of the Hoovian box um, that I almost but didn't quite order. The second question is what is a brand that you never got the chance to try? So as I never managed to get any of these I don't have any pictures of them so thank you to Louise Loopy Frog for allowing me to use your photos of Blackheart Beauty. Unlike a lot of people I'm not really a big fan of the skull bottles um, but every swatch I've seen of their polishes is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm sad that I missed out on these but they were very very hard to get hold of in the UK. Question 3. What is a brand that you tried at the last minute? 
and the first one of these is pretty serious and uh, I again won this polish in a giveaway on Instagram this is Petracor and was my first pretty serious and I got this one just before they closed down I'm lucky enough though that I have received two further pretty serious polishes from Nika and from Claire Nika sent me this one and it is called Precipitation and Claire recently gave me the Crimson Pearl and the second polish that I tried at the last minute and I believe that they're no longer producing nail polish but please do let me know in the comments below if this is incorrect and this is Celestial and I picked up this orange when I made an order um, because I needed to make up the postage um, not a big fan of orange nail varnish but this one with the gold shimmer and glitter in it really stood out to me and this one is called Set You Free I did manage to pick up the velvet jacket in a de-stash though, so I now have two. Question 4. Is the brand that made your first indie polish still in business and what was your first indie brand? Well, not just because Jess started this tag video, um, if you look back in some of my previous videos you'll see this polish mentioned quite a bit. It's my favourite pink hollow and it was the first true indie that I bought. I had bought some ILMP before this one um, but they're really considered to be a boutique brand. So if we're talking about true indies, this one was the first. It's called Candy Apple and I do have a backup bottle of this courtesy of George's Nails 83 um, who very kindly picked it up for me in a D stash because although 90 Lacquer is very much still in business um, only a small number of them seem to make their way over to the UK for purchase and they didn't have this in the store when I went back to buy a second bottle. Question 5. What is a brand that you forgot about? Well, my nail polish collection is relatively new. I've only been collecting for a few years. Um, I do have most of them out on view, not in Helmers, um, and I don't have enough of them that I've forgotten about any. So seeing as I couldn't answer that question, I'm adding an extra bonus question um, of honourable mentions of brands that are no longer with us. So I've chosen these two. First of all we have Sparkly Nail Polish and this one is my absolute favourite from them. This polish is called Nothing's Impossible Charlie. And lastly we have Nicole by OPI. Um, this is a polish that I bought after seeing it on Miss Hollyberry's channel. Um, it's a very very pretty textured polish um, with little pieces in pink and purple and uh, uh, I love this polish, hate the bottles. I mean they really are hideous aren't they? Bottle aside I have a soft spot for this particular polish and it's called I'm Stucco on You. So if you'd like to take part in um, this tag video, it is an open tag. That means that Jess has said anyone can do it um, and you will find all of the questions in the description bar below her original video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.